being here, everybody. Uh, Montana travels to Cal Poly this week after beating Northern Colorado. Uh, with us, we've got Big Sky Player of the Week, Jackson Lee, and uh, tight end, Evan Schaefer. And, uh, we'll start with Coach's comments, final comments from the Northern Colorado game, and then as we look ahead to Cal Poly, uh, we'll open up to questions after that. Uh, Coach, your, uh, your thoughts after a nice win for your team. Ready? All right, thanks, James. Uh, really pleased to get a get a win last Saturday. You know that both of these guys that are here with me today played played really well in the game, and our team played well in all three phases. Um, our defense got their second shutout of the year. Uh, that was awesome. Uh, I don't know that I've ever even heard of someone shutting out a conference opponent three straight times. So just another good performance. Uh, by our defense, so I was excited for that. Um, always good to get a win and a league win and then move forward into the next one. So <laughs> we've got a, our second consecutive road game. We're going down to Cal Poly. Uh, they had an extra week to prepare for us. They had, they had last week open. Uh, I know that uh, kind of paying attention to the tenor of, of uh, things out of there is they think they should have won a week ago in their last game at Idaho. Um, they had a good performance there and, and came up just short. So, you know, they're they're extremely well coached. Offense, defense, special teams, head coach knows what he's doing. Um, they're always really difficult to plan for and, and to beat. So, anyway, we've got our hands full going down there. Again, back-to-back -back road games. Um, a couple things stick out. Um, they make a lot of big plays on offense, and, and uh, they've got 13 caused fumbles on the defensive side of the ball. They're knocking the ball out, so uh, leading the league in defensive TDs. So they're they're, uh, they're doing a lot of good things. We know that we'll have our hands full down there. Questions? Bob, you said both these guys played well. Can you just expand on what they? did well in the game? Yeah, both guys uh, um, executed their assignment really well. Um, I, thought, I thought both of them had a, a really uh, uh, good understanding of the game plan and how they fit into it. And then when it was their turn to make plays, they made them. And watching the video back of Jackson's interception there, what did you see? How impressive of a play was that for him to get over there and make that? Well, it was man-free coverage. and. Uh, and uh, got a good break on the ball and then obviously made a great catch. Jackson, the past couple games, offense not or defense not giving up a ton of passing yards. What kind of changes have led to that success the past two games? Um, yeah, I think that we just kind of are finding ourselves a little bit and uh, fit where we need to. And I think uh, just kind of figuring out who we are and what we need to do in order to stop teams from putting up big numbers on us. And then you guys haven't given up a lot of big pass plays the past two weeks either. So just um, what do you attribute that success to? Um, I think mostly I think everyone's getting their job done. And uh, like Coach said, they're understanding their assignments and doing what they're told to do, what their coaches do. And I think they're doing it well. So uh, we just got to keep eliminating the explosives. Coach, as you mentioned, back-to-back uh, -back road trips. Like, what challenges does that present when it is back-to-back -back road trip? Does it present any, or is it pretty, pretty normal? Well, it's a little easier when you're playing day games. You know, just the sleep deprivation. It's hard. You, you know, you and I were talking about that yesterday. Getting back at six in the morning and then just come into the office. And players got to go in and get treatment, and catch up on homework. So, uh, you know, the travel takes its toll a little bit like it does on everybody. You know, it's a business trip, so business travelers will tell you it takes a toll, but uh, um, day games make it a little bit easier. Evan, the offense, a uh, pretty big game on Saturday as well. A couple of nine minute drives for you guys, and obviously your position is unique. You can catch, you can block, things like that. Can you just speak to, the, I guess, the versatility of the offense, whether, you know, it is long drives, you know, big plays, just speak to, I guess, what you guys have been able to accomplish so far. Um, it's been really nice this year having such a such a senior group of guys and all of us being able to play assignment based football and it's that ability to be able to mix in guys and to be able to go on those nine minute drives that is really really nice. 
coming off the bye, just what felt like was clicking for the offense and what are you guys kind of carry into this next week? And then you guys are kind of back in full swing again. Uh, obviously, it was, it was nice to have our, our week off, but I mean, we still worked throughout the entire week. Uh, we, we didn't really spend that much time off, but um, it's, it's nice coming back as an offense with everybody being able to be rejuvenated and everything and really just getting after it and coming back to gameplay. Jackson named the uh, Big Sky Defensive Player of the Week. Obviously, three turnovers as a unit. The defense as a unit played well. So for you, how special was that for you? But then obviously to see the defense, you know, kind of keep climbing just as a, as a whole. I feel like it was kind of a team award too. Yeah, uh, obviously that always feels good to uh, come up with the football as a guy on defense. But uh, our defense played good all the way around, and I think it's. I mean, if we want to win football games, especially on the road in today's college football, that's kind of what we have to do. So. Um, just got to keep getting better every single week, making strides, and it was cool to see, uh, like you know, Caleb getting his first pick and putting a little bit of confidence in the younger guys like that. So it's really cool. Bobby, as you mentioned, uh, Cal Poly is coming off the bye week. Just in your time as coaching, just what challenges tend to present themselves when uh, your playing team has an extra week of prep? Well, I think that you know it depends on how they utilize their open day, but uh, in terms of their just hours they have to study it, um, the number of practices they have, they have the ability to have a little more complex game plan in all three phases because they've got more practice time to implement it. Uh, I don't know how they approach it, but uh, you can see a lot of new things and, and uh, a lot more expansive uh, plan in terms of what you have to do. Coach, how did you evaluate Cal Poly's defensive program? I think they're good. Um, I don't know the names yet, I will. But I like uh, 60 makes a lot of plays. He's very active on the inside, and then 14 is good on the outside. Good after. 14 is getting a lot of, uh, he had a lot of preseason hype, and he seems like he's producing this year. What makes him a challenging scout? Uh, you know, he's a, got a good frame, plays with good leverage, um, tends, tends to make plays, you know, pretty active. Ian Fish scored his first touchdown on his first career catch on Saturday. Is that now that you've had a chance to, to think about it a little bit? What did you think of just his contribution? Uh, he's done a good job. He's, he's uh, played quite a bit in the kicking game and, and uh, done a good job blocking, working hard in the run game. So it's, it's good to see him get a pass. Is he with the tight ends now? Is that right? Jack, there's quite a few plays that kind of gets the sideline uh, riled up, but I think when Evan catches like a five-yard pass and then drags guys for four, five, six yards, it's, you guys kind of get energized. What's, what's it like when, when that kind of play happens? Uh, yeah, it, especially in an environment that is on the road and uh, not quite Walker is, I think it's really important to make our own energy, whether it is Evan running over a guy for five yards and drag him a little bit or maybe even just a pass deflection. It's really important for our whole team to kind of find energy and plays that we can hopefully make. And it seems like you kind of enjoy that physicality when you get the catch. Like, what, what's that like when, you know, you try and stand up a couple guys and get some extra yards? Uh, it's just it's just me doing my job, and that's how, I, that's how I see it whenever I'm out there. As Jackson was saying, we, we, we tend to like bringing our own juice. And that's what Coach Howard says anytime we're on the road. He loves being on the road because it's just us and us playing our best football. Uh, all right, Jackson, Halloween's this week, so I wanted to ask, are you are you a fan of scary movies still? I don't like scary movies. Okay, yeah. so like, like like more like slasher ones or like creepy ones, or do you have, and do you have a favorite scary movie? Uh, I'd probably go like with Thriller, but I mean, the best scary movie is probably like Halloween with Mike Myers, just because it's really Thriller's sweet. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Not the Michael Jackson Thriller. <laughs> Evan, what about you? Do, do we like scary so movies or no? Uh, yeah. I, do, I do not like scary <laughs> movies. I am not a fan. I, I've maybe sat through one entire scary movie in my life. What, what is it about scary movies that we don't like? I just, I just, I guess when it just comes to like fight or flight response, mine is a, mine is a flight. So I just, it, it feels weird to just have to sit there and watch it. Coach? <laughs> I like to answer. <laughs> Do we like scary movies? I don't know. 
there too. Okay, I mean the the greatest one in my mind is the shiny. Yeah. Awesome. That's my dad's room. Yeah. <laughs> Scream. Four. <laughs> you don't want to be in the same age group as your dad. <laughs> Six cents. That's a good one. I don't like that. Anybody else? Thanks everyone. Nader, how you doing today, man? I think we got you. We're paying it in our house. <laughs>